Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I have a gaming PC build for $600 and I think I did really well in this build. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. For the CPU, I'm with the AMD FX6300 3.5 gigahertz 6 core processor. Right now, this has a $10 off promo code and is $109.99. Uh, this is an insanely good processor, being that the competitor to it is an Intel i3. I can't exactly name which one currently. Um, yeah, so the competitor for this is a, I think it's a high-end Intel i3. But being that, that it has two cores, this has six. And I think it has like the same clock speed. Um, there's no reason not to go with this, really. I think the Intel i3 series is a bit of a failure. I actually own a CP, uh, an Intel CPU myself, so I'm not really biased, but um, yeah. For the CPU cooler, I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. Right now, this is $29.28 and is a great cooler. You could actually probably push this CPU up to 4 gigahertz if you want and be totally fine. Uh, for the motherboard, I went with the MSI 970A G43 ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. Right now, this is $60, and it's a decent motherboard. I mean, it's not high quality by any means, but unless you're going to be doing, like, extreme overclocking to, like, 6 gigahertz or something like that, and there's really no need. Um, so, yeah, that's that for the memory. I went with the G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes. DDR3 1866 megahertz memory. You heard me right. This is 1866 megahertz, and I believe the cast latency is 9 so if anything, this will actually be an upgrade from 1600 megahertz. And actually, this is cheaper than like 95% of the 1600 megahertz memory. So this is an insanely good deal. It also has a $15 off promo code right now, uh, which actually ends in two days. So eh, I don't know, but uh, still great quality RAM for the price nonetheless. Uh, so for the storage, I'm with the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Right now, this has a $5 mail-in rebate and is $58.98. Uh, this is kind of just your standard hard drive, not too slow, not too fast, not too reliable, not too unreliable. Um, not much you can say here. It doesn't have a huge capacity. It's only 1TB. But again, hard drives are really easy to upgrade, so you can do that whenever. Uh, for the video card, I went with the ASUS Radeon HD 7870GHz edition 2GB video card. And right now this has a $20 mail-in rebate, which makes it $185.98. This is an awesome card. It basically performs just as well as a NVIDIA uh, 660, which is, or GTX 660 I should say, which is awesome. So you'll be able to play all the newest games. You'll be able to play Battlefield 4 at medium settings 1080p and get 50 60 fps maybe even higher you know so this will be definitely playable at 1080p on every game um i mean honestly medium settings battlefield 4 60 fps solid which is basically what i play at anyway sorry if you guys heard that uh, i'm getting messages on steam but anyways for the case i'm with the corsair 200r actually that was on facebook but anyways um <laughs> Uh, for the case, I went with the Corsair 200R ATX mid-tower case. Right now, this has a $10 million rebate and is $55. I love this case so much because it is one of the only cases in the Carbide series that doesn't have like that, um, I don't really know what to call it, but like that sheet metal grate on the front. Not really sheet metal, but like a metal grate on the front of it. Um, so it's actually got quite a sleek look. It's almost like the Obsidian series. Obviously, it's not going to be that nice being that it's only $55, but still, this is a great case, um, great ventilation, you could buy some fans for this if you want, and this thing will have insanely good ventilation. For the power supply, I went with the Corsair CX 600, 600 watt, 80 plus bronze certified, semi-modular ATX power supply, so actually it's the CX 600M, so it is semi-modular, but right now it has a $20 mail-in rebate, making it $50, which for this, uh, it's actually the same price as the regular CX600, so there's really no reason not to buy this. And actually, the PCPartPicker.com ratings for this uh, power supply have been going up substantially since it has had this mail-in rebate, and it is a great quality power supply. So anyways, uh, 
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new here. I post content daily. Thanks for watching and peace.